Welcome once again to Q and Ahmed. I am Ahmed Mazari, the president of Microsoft Asia, and today I am in Japan to answer the question: What does it take to digitally transform one of the world's best banks? SMBC Sumitomo Mitsui Banking Corporation is one of Japan's leading banks and one of the top ten globally. SMBC is accelerating its transformation efforts to develop. Innovative products and services that will not only benefit its customers but also the industry and society at large. Today, I have the privilege of speaking with Hanizaki-san, the Senior Managing Executive Officer and Chief Digital Group Innovation Officer of SMBC. Welcome, Hanizaki-san. Hi, Ahmed. Uh, great to join you today. It's always my great pleasure to exchange ideas with you on digital transformation. SMBC's foundations go back to the 19th centuries, so it's a bank that has seen a great deal of change over the years. Now we are leveraging the power of digital technology to innovate with new solutions, capture new business opportunities. And cater to a new generation of consumers who are digital first, as well as enhance our focus on sustainability. Tanizaki-san, could you tell us about your vision for SMBC's digital transformation? Core philosophy of SMBC Group's digital strategy is to help our customers grow their business and achieve their business outcomes. In that context, we designed our digital initiatives in four pillars. The first is to expand our presence in the digital domain by combining the transformation of financial solutions with the expansion into non-financial solutions to customers. Second is to upgrade our business model by providing outstanding user experience and to utilize data for new solution development. The third is to integrate. Consumer and corporate businesses by establishing B two B two C platforms, which we call embedded finance. Finally, to scale our solutions and services beyond Japan to Asia and to global. Tanizaki-san, SMBC Group is the first major Japanese financial institution to enter such a critical. Multi-year alliance with Microsoft as its strategic cloud provider and digital transformation partner. Can you tell us a little bit more about how your partnership is empowering SMBC to innovate and transform? Thank you. Uh, through the partnership with Microsoft, SMBC Group aims to modernize its IT infrastructure, upskill people transform culture and ultimately provide understanding experiences for its customers and employees to grow our business globally. But this is the only the beginning. By modernizing and embracing tech innovation, we believe we would be better positioned to accelerate our digital transformation, which will enable the creation of diverse innovative services for our customers around the world. Through a global network of 149 overseas sites, uh, your company, Microsoft's trusted and comprehensive cloud platform, plays a really a pivotal role in streamlining our existing work processes and creating new business models. Yeah, leaders across industries share a commitment to innovation as the only path forward. Through uncertainty, and we live in uncertain times. At Microsoft, we call this digital perseverance, the ability of organizations to thrive despite risk when they harness and yield digital technology to achieve their business goals and to do more with less. What would your advice be to leaders in the financial services on the role of technology in enabling transformation and digital perseverance? Ahmed. Mm, the concept of digital perseverance resonates with me a lot. As readers,、uh, we need to na navigate the business through unprecedented changes in the geopolitical environment and business environment. We cannot plan for every scenario, but we should be prepared to adapt to the sudden changes.、Uh, leveraging digital technologies is critical to be perseverant. 
in business. For example, supply chain operations of our customers were severely impacted due to COVID-19, geopolitical issues, emphasis on sustainability and energy transition. Customers are drastically and dynamically restructuring the supply chain for resilient operations. To support this transformation, we launched a fully digitized supply chain finance platform in APAC and continuing the development of API connectivity with the choice of their platforms. Also, recently adopted cloud-based AI engines to digitize the trade finance processing so we can cater the increasing demand of our customers in the cross-border trade to adopt to the fast-growing digital native generation, especially as of Japan. We have been developing digital bank for end consumers and small and medium businesses. These are just a few of examples of do more with less at SMBC. And my recommendation is to always think from customer first point of view. Thank you. Can you please share with us some specific examples of your digital strategy and how it helps drive innovation for the benefit of your customers as well as the broader industry? One of the themes we put a lot of emphasis on is embedded finance. That's where we integrate consumer and corporate businesses by establishing B2, B2C platforms. Needless to say, our corporate customers are accelerating their digitization of supply chains to tackle the complexity of global supply chain operations. This drives the clear expectation to banks like us to provide paperless and real-time transactions by seamless digital connectivity with their systems. Recently, in APAC region, we launched a cloud-based digital supply chain finance solution to process customers' financial requests and make the payment with minutes. Microsoft, your company helped us launch this solution with in just a few months. This solution helps our customers to support their suppliers by arranging early payments. As you know, operating a resilient supply chain is one of the key priorities of all corporates. And our solution supports them to establish a robust supplier network. We are also providing non-financial digital tools to our customers to make their financial operations more efficient, to digitize the office of CFO. We are providing data analytics, dashboards of KPI, such as cash conversion cycles and foreign exchange exposure using Power BI, and invoice processing and payment automation tools. Yeah, I want to emphasize that we are partnering with digital solution providers and fintech startups to bring these solutions to our customers. Cloud-based solution design is fund foundational to establish a partner ecosystem, and we are accelerating partnerships with various technology providers. Uh, help digitizing the Office of CFO is the initial step of our Embedded Finance Initiative. And we are expanding the digital solution to their entire value chain, both supplier and distributor side also, by co-creating digital platform with them. Recently, we started the business design in APAC with our investee companies of regional financial institutes in India, Indonesia, and Vietnam to extend our reach to small and medium businesses for better financial inclusion. Our ambition, it, it, it's a big or small, I don't know, is to accelerate non-linear growth of our global banking and becoming the largest B2B digital financial solution provider in Asia by 2030. Thank you, Tanizaki-san. Very, very insightful. Achieving inclusive growth also means doing it in a manner that is sustainable for long-term societal development for the current 
and future generations. I personally have a great deal of respect for how SMBC defines sustainability, namely by creating a society in which today's generation can enjoy economic prosperity and well-being and pass it on to future generations. Could you share more on SMBC's effort and digital solutions that support environmental goals? To meet the environmental goals and targets, every corporation needs to measure and quantify their GHG greenhouse gas emission in a continuous manner, continuous way. The scope of measurement and the quantification cover the entire value chain. SMBC is providing digital tools to customers to eliminate their burden of acquiring data, analyzing, and visualizing the trend of emissions and to provide actionable insights to reduce the emission itself. We launched our own cloud-based solution named Sastana to help our corporate clients. Also invested in US-based climate tech startup or Persephone and expanding the customer engagement with them in APAC region. To support the rapid expansion of small size renewable energy projects in APAC, developing a renewable project finance platform with a tech startup named Banyan Infrastructure. As a leading bank in sustainable finance, it's our responsibility to help our customers in energy transition utilizing digital technologies such as grid optimization and energy market management. I am encouraging my team to think big to co-innovate green digital solutions together with Microsoft to advance sustainable growth and our customers' progress against their commitments. Thank you very much. Now, let's turn to that process of digital transformation that you are pursuing. As we all know, while technology is the foundation, it's people who are driving digital transformation. Also, the war for talent continues. Can you share more about how a large and traditional company like SMBC is empowering young talent and building its culture, particularly in our hybrid environment? As you mentioned, uh, transformation of mindset and culture is the hardest challenge. At the CDO of SMBC Group, I encourage and enable each department in Japan, as well as global, to take new initiatives. I facilitate a monthly CDIO meeting to share new business ideas and allocate budget and resources on the spot to be nimble and agile. I approved more than 20 projects in the last two years. To establish a global scale partnership ecosystem, we created a co-innovation facility in Japan named Hoops Link Tokyo, Silicon Valley Lab in West Coast in the United States, and Asian Innovation Center in Singapore. Also, we have launched a series of separate entrepreneurial new ventures to drive non-financial digital solutions and assigned young talents as CEOs of those companies with strong delegation of decision making. Also running an in-house digital university to reskill and upskill our employees online and recently launched our own media named DeCrosslink to strengthen external communication as a thought reader. We are trying various avenues, both online and offline, to accelerate mindset and cultural transformation. But as you know very well, this is really a continuous effort. I look forward to collaborating more with you on this aspect. Tanezaki-san, first of all, thank you for coming and sharing the stage with us. And equally, thank you for sharing SMBC's digital transformation journey with us today. It was wonderful. It is inspiring to see how this partnership empowers SMBC Group to innovate for the future while building on strengths established over the years. From sustainability to digital upskilling, 
We are seeing how SMBC is using tech to make real impact for Asia and the world. Tani Zaki-san, it has been a great pleasure to speak with you today. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you, Amit. It has been a really a great pleasure to talk to you today, and I'm looking forward to continuous partnership uh, from Japan to Asia to global. Thank you very much. And thank you everyone for tuning in. See you soon for the next edition of Q and Ahmed.